In this video, I will be reviewing the Teclum Tracer by Athletic Propulsion Labs. I'll start off with the technical overview, followed by pros and cons, and then finally conclude the video with who I think the shoe is designed for. Athletic Propulsion Labs boasts a track record of high performance and luxury ever since their first basketball shoe came out around 2009. With that in mind and the hefty price tag of $230, I had really high expectations for my first shoe from the APL lineup. The Teclum Tracer is APL's first low top training specific shoe. It was designed for everything from cross training to hit training. The shoe does have a lot of similar materials to their running line, but this one was specifically designed for durability and increased rebound throughout the life of the shoe. To get a little bit more technical, the shoe does have an eight millimeter heel to toe drop, which is a little bit higher than typical training shoes that you'll see. I haven't found that it's a weird adjustment, but it is something to keep in mind. My size eight and a half came in at about 7.4 ounces, and on the website it does have a listed weight at 7.1 ounces, which may be based off of the different size shoe, but again, eight and a half is at 7.4 ounces. So getting to pros and cons, I'm gonna start off with the cons. And the first is definitely gonna be right off the bat when you guys get these shoes. They need a little bit more time to break in than I'd say some of the other trainers I've had. The forefoot was a little tight on me, so that did require probably a break-in period of two to three weeks. Um, working out five to six days a week in these and, and taking long walks. Um, so nothing to be too concerned about because I do think they break in and if you're experiencing the same issue I had, um, I wouldn't worry. But something to keep in mind is their return policy. Um, I don't think it's very forgiving if you do wear these for a week or two and, and just still find that they're not breaking in. Another con is that these shoes aren't terribly stable in lateral movements. So if you're trained for basketball or another sport that requires a lot of lateral putting, um, these aren't going to be the shoe for you. Going into the pros, now that these are broken in, I think they are one of the most comfortable training shoes that you can get. Um, if you are doing any kind of boot camp classes, they are perfect. They're very comfortable. They're very breathable. The flexible material, while it's not great for heavy loads and cutting, it is really, really comfortable for burpees and box jumps and um, you know anything less than like a 5K run, you'll be very comfortable in these. To conclude the video, I think the shoes are really great, but the price tag is quite steep. So if it's gonna break your budget to buy these shoes, I'd say skip out on them. But if you have a little bit more, more money to spend, I found that they are the perfect shoe and the shoes that I go to every time for body weight workouts, walking my dog, and then short runs less than three miles. This is the first video that I've done. So if you have any constructive criticism or any kind of comments on this, please let me know down below. Aside from that, give me a thumbs up and let me know what other shoes you'd like for me to review next.